Warning, this video contains graphic images of spiders and wasps. Well hi there, above the door in our house I've found these mud structures. They're built by the mud dauber wasp, an incredible little critter. And I know these wasps will kill many many spiders to basically feed the larvae which are growing inside there. These were only made yesterday, so I'm pretty curious to see what spiders the wasp has laid up for the young to eat. If I come in very carefully I can remove these, I don't want to break them up. Oops, too late, it's broken up. Well okay, I've done my collection. They are the spiders from two mud cells there, and this is a mud cell and what is inside once the larvae starts to grow. Oh well, yeah, it's that sort of video. You love it when I put the gloves on, don't you? Okay, we'll take a look at this package of goodness here first. It's the little mud thing the mud wasp makes. It's still got spiders in there, and there is the larvae. Hopefully still alive, but not for long. And this is what the larvae, larvae came out of, that thing there, like a sort of husky shell thing. Well, this mud cell here, I don't know how long it's been around. It was in a similar area to the other two that I've pulled down from the wall of our house. I'm pretty sure it's older because the larvae here, and I've tried to reconstruct it as, as bad as I did, uh, is growing. That will eventually turn out to be one of those mud dauber wasps, which are beautiful critters. I've got a lot of time for them. Although sadly this guy isn't going to live much past this video, is he? Because I've sort of broken up his life cycle. Uh, I don't know how much longer it would take for that little critter there to become a wasp. Maybe there's an etymologist out there who can explain that one to me. I've got a sticky suspicion this all happens in a fairly short amount of time. I know nature doesn't uh, muck around when it comes to reproduction. Uh, speed is of the essence. Let me get the dental probe, but what... I find is more interesting is what these wasps capture and I've done a video about one of these being filled up with spiders but I haven't really gone to the point of showing you basically the grub stage and what you find inside here. And I'd say that grub's already eaten a few spiders, I think I've hooked one. Ooh, that's a beauty isn't it? Yet to be eaten? Mm. I don't know what sort that is and they've sort of paralysed these spiders although I don't know how much paralysation is left in that one there. I wonder if there's any more left in there. Oops, sorry, little grub. No. Oh, I think the problem, yeah. Well, that's what I found in there. Okay, so the grub's already eaten a couple of spiders. And those ones there were waiting to be eaten. So laid out in the line, there's our mud nest. There is the last spider that was in that mud nest waiting to be eaten by the larva here. Who would have become a beautiful mud dauber wasp. Let me clear this away and we'll take a look at the spiders that were captured yesterday inside two mud dauber nests. Okay, so we're starting to get an inkling that wasps are amazingly efficient at killing spiders. Um, these wasps don't eat these spiders, that's purely used in part of the breeding cycle, they're actually nectar eaters. Uh, that's from two of the mud dauber nests, let's set this out here and we'll see what sort of spiders we have. Mind you, I won't be able to tell you because I can't tell one spider from another. I'm hoping my audience can. And just notice there, we can still pull web out of the back of that spider there. These are paralyzed spiders that aren't actually dead. What's freaking me out is I think some of these guys are coming back alive. Okay, who's feeling itchy right at the moment? <laughs> I think there's 20 spiders there. Uh, this is the largest one. I'm not sure if that's a huntsman or not. Like I need a spider expert to tell me. But one thing I'm noticing is there's a couple of similar spiders. That one there looks the same as this one here. Uh, but then again, spiders uh, could be the same type, uh, because the male and females often look very different. Um, I think there's a good assortment there, that's all I can say. I'm surprised I'm not seeing like little black um, house spiders, too many of them. And more obvious, what I call obvious huntsman spiders. Uh, like I'm a bit sceptical about this guy here. Now have a bit of a closer look, I quite I like the look of this one here. Remember, I'm probably saving this from a horrible fate of being eaten by a larvae of a wasp. Uh, there's a great variety of spiders here. A bit of an insight into the spider problem we've got around our house and little spiders live in the garden. But, uh, I don't know what that critted one, that one there is, and I'm probing. He's a bit different looking, isn't he? Hmm. Someone out there will know. I think that one there, I think it might be a jumping spider. Although it's not doing too much jumping at the moment. Now these spiders, remember, they are paralysed, so they're probably sitting there thinking, What's going on? I can't move, but I'm sort of still alive. Uh, it'd be a horrible way to go, wouldn't it? Hey, just be glad you're not one of these guys. Uh, I think I'd much prefer to be a wasp in life than a spider. 
So a good friend of Mud Dauber Wasp, efficient in killing spiders, all this happens in a relatively short amount of time. Uh, I'd love to catch the moment that a nest is being made right from the start uh, and catch it in, in HD. The last time I captured this, it was in my old uh, camera format, standard definition. And what I'd really like to do is get the time when one of these guys gets uh, basically paralyzed by the, the wasp. Wow, wouldn't it be marvelous to see that? See one of these guys get zapped. Wacko. Ooh, I'd love to see it. If you're curious about our beautiful mud dauber wasp and its life cycle, just Google mud dauber wasp life cycle. Go to the images and you'll see all sorts of images which are probably far grander than the video I've presented. I'm just hoping that I can provoke your interest in what is quite a remarkable uh, spider killer. Mind you, from what I can see, that the ultimate spider killer is the spider wasp. And I have got a cracking video coming up of one of these guys doing its thing to a big huntsman spider. Uh, you're going to love it. Well, I know the best way to clean up that spider mess. Okay, as always, thanks for watching and... Bye for now.